my life insurance covers me to ride this, so I'm not going to. Oh, go on. I've got no. Hans are scary cat. No, 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 I'm just not riding it. I've got, I've still got a bad ankle from my last oh, one. Oh, no, that's, that's ankle. my excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to have a go? I have actually have a bad ankle. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go. I just forgot I do. Oh. I exhale the yellow smoke of Buddha through right to step. Sparkle like a diamond, hit the earth like a comet. This is fantastic. Oh, is thank this? you. <laughs> it's a bobsleigh. We're training for the Winter Olympics. <laughs> All right. Okay. First ride in a quest in months. And, uh,. It was quite nice. First thing I want to say is, oh my goodness. Thank God for Ian Fardo. So we've put a, a DTH Maxxis 20 inch on the front. And uh, we put a Schwalbe All Motion 559 Big Fat Boy on the back. And uh, makes such a difference with the ride. I've only put a 60 PSI all round. And the thing flies and really comfortable and super silent as well. So awesome bit of advice, Ian. I'll be keeping those on, man. Yeah, brilliant. Best tyres I've had. And there was me sticking with those thin tyres for so long. I've managed to uh, gaffer tape the crash damage on the front up. See? Looks absolutely perfect. Until you get really close. <laughs> there you go. Blends in nicely. Well done, Questy. Um, another thing I wanted to say about those tyres. The comfort level on Questy has gone up. I don't know. Times four? Amazing. I think I'll take a closer look at the steering. Because when I turn left, I get a ping in. It sounds like the spokes are hitting something on the right front wheel. So that could be something could be slightly bent there. I've been trying to take it slightly easy just in case the, the uh, steerer comes off in my hand or something. <laughs> oh, living on the edge, eh? <laughs> there it is. How to do thee? <laughs> Look who I found squatting outside the shop. <laughs> So, soireed over to Stoke Newington in the quest, um, met up with Stuart, and we're now outside uh, Z Cafe, the Z Bar, Stoke, Stokey, Stoke Newington. But highly recommended by Stuart, and um, we're going for the traditional... The traditional Stoke Newington men and men. And that's it. Very quick. Awesome. Very nice machine. Has it got a model name or is it just the, ve the Velo? Uh, the, it is the, <coughs> the Plus. Velo Plus. Velo Bike Plus. Yeah. Uh, plus means with the power assist. Yeah. And then they do the belt and disc brake version. And they do slightly cheaper, they do a chain and rim brake version. But it's actually, quite, quite funny. Look, this bicycle, <laughs> this bicycle has a face, <laughs> and it looks like this. Hi, baby. Oh my God. Yeah, we're off. I hope my phone doesn't fall off. Ah, oh, this is cool. Wow. Hang on. I think I need two hands. Right, first impressions of the Velo with the electric assist. Fab. The Electric assist sort of really kicks in with sort of full power from the beginning. So apparently it takes you up to 25 kilometers an hour and then uh, eases off, tapers off slightly. So this is quite cool. Seat's not high enough for me, so I'm gonna stop and do that. But yeah, um, it's single speed as well. So you don't really feel like you need any more gears. I think it's just basically a city bike. Whoa. 
nearly crashed into a fence. That's the problem. The uh, <laughs> it's uh, no boost or boost, and um, when you get full boost, you get full boost, which is uh, you have to be really on it with the the, the brakes. Otherwise, you're going to end up in a, a set of railings like I almost did. Very pretty machine. So the motor and the control system and everything is inside the, the rear wheel. are very strong as well uh, position riding position it's quite nice it's the perfect city bike very very easy actually I've been uh, I've been riding it have you been commuting with, yeah, I've been with... commuting on it and it's exactly as you say it takes a while to actually work out how it works yeah. and even to know whether or not you like it yes exactly uh, I mean because it's like it's, it's just obviously it's, it's an engine it gives you power yeah I found that it's just two revolutions of the pedals uh, and then I it think kicks one. Yeah. And I think that's for safety reasons. Okay. I think because otherwise I could do that, I could knock the pedal. Yeah. And it would I mean just pulling in air, I was like, whoop. It would, yeah, I think that's you getting used to it again. Cause, yeah. Because I did that the first couple of times and I think Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just something you don't do. Yeah. And I think the same the same with the, the take up, it takes like maybe yeah. Half or a whole pedal. Yeah, I think it's, it's one one it a revolution or a and bit. It kind of gives you a and then a really a nice boost. Yes. Which I sort of quite like nowadays after being mm. over in Germany. I'm coming round to the idea of electric assist. Mm. And that's the Velo Bike Plus. Two thousand nine hundred pounds, roughly, will get you this model. And is that a two hundred fifty watt motor? Yeah. Yeah. Now from the Sublime to the ridiculous. The, this is this, this is the bike I'm taking on holiday this summer. The beast from the east. Yeah, we're going <laughs> camping. We're going camping in France. What size are those tyres? <laughs> oh. And here comes Stuart. How's the view? You can you can pick apples very easily. Yeah. How's the view? Here, here, here. <laughs> Brilliant. Wow. What I want to see is how you dismount. Carefully. Wow. I mean, well, there's two of them, or there will be two of them. Peter's making another one. Yeah. Uh, we're taking them to the Concours des Machines in the south of France. Are you riding them there? No, I think we're probably we're gonna going in the in back up in the hearse. <laughs> uh, to the, uh, and then uh, it's like a competition for like French frame builders. Okay, sounds interesting. Sort of frame builder loving. Wow. You have to cycle 80 kilometers and then camp. So you have the bikes have to be usable then. Yeah, they have yeah. to be functioning. Yeah, and you get points for everything. Okay. And um, you've got like a flippy that's, that's off, off, of a off of a Brompton. Yeah. He's made a lot of tall bikes. He's learned his lesson. Yeah. You need you need to be able to get it in the house. Okay, so the <laughs> tall bike you can actually shorten it down. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, it's the world's first tall fat folding bike. What tires are those? That's what I just asked. <laughs> I don't know, the new ones. I haven't seen the brand. Oh, the V. The v oh, yeah, yeah. 26 times 4.5. Yeah. Bigger my motorcycle, though. <laughs> yeah. 
And so that, that route you have to do in Toulouse, is it hilly? Uh, I think, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be, yeah. Okay. It's going to be interesting. France has hills. I think my yeah. life insurance covers me to ride this, so I'm not going to. Oh, go on. Got no. Ron's a scaredy cat. No, no, no. So, well, and uh, does this have a name, this uh, oh. this beast? I, don't know. I think I the think beast from the east. I think it needs suits. One. It's, <laughs> it's, well, from Margate, so that qualifies in that respect. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. from the coast. Yeah. This is genuine Margate chalk. <laughs> I mean, basically, well, that's what it's built for. It's for the Bargate's the only place in the, that I know of that you can yeah. like ride round the coast in the sea. It's about the same weight, if not a little bit lighter than the Velo. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Are you over on holiday, or do you do you live in London? My daughter lives in London, so I come over. A okay. Of years a year to, oh, cool. I always come by the shop. Mm -hmm. Willie Van Roy, from one to three, told me to tell your motherfuckers to keep cool. He'd be out one way or another. Quick. <laughs> And then when you're up there, push the little button for the seat on your left hand handlebars. I just want to show you the seat. Press this button here, watch the seat. <laughs> That's the best bit of the bike. Actually, I was terrified getting on it. But once you're up there, it's lovely. Um, and then the whole time I rode around, I was petrified, I was worried about getting off, which was easy. So basically, I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> I'll take this one. Ask Peter if he wants to swap it for a Velomobile. Um, back, uh, um, uh. The tyres are quite noisy, I noticed. <coughs> it looks really high when you see uh, somebody else on it, but when you're on it, <laughs> yeah, it's quite yeah, nice. It's normal. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. but now I'm looking at Stuart, I think, oh, if anything goes wrong, that's quite a long way to yeah, fall, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. You need to have an you had, you have a plan. To, you need to have <laughs> exit plan <laughs> strategy. <laughs> so you need to have like a you need to have like a strategy of how to get on and off. Yeah. Like what legs to use. And yeah. <laughs> Brexit. <laughs> exit plan. Have you thought of an exit plan? He knows how to get off of it. I was the one who was worried about getting off it. He's a pro. Oh, excellent. What do you do at light? Can you just hang on to the post or something? Probably just go very, very slowly. Yeah, just put, roll. What, do you put, put what does he put in there? It's got a, well, you did the hydraulic? It. You didn't make it. It's a, it's a mountain biker's thing. Okay. It's called... Um, I've never I come across it before. Called. Yeah, no, they're all into it. Drop a post. <laughs> wow. And... Is there a battery or something? No, it's it? got a gas... Gas bottle yes. like sinister uh, cylinder. cylinder yeah so I've got piston. super cool yeah excellent how long does that last for forever it's got a lightweight chain mm. it's compressing it like a spring so if yeah if you um if you want one of these made for you just speak to Stuart he can knock one up he can <laughs> just ring bike fix <laughs> anything you want to know about this bike He's got plenty of time, just yeah, any, any mundane questions. <laughs> Give Stuart a tinkle. 
Okay, thanks for watching guys. Bello ads over and out. Stuart will now take you through the fold. <laughs> right. So pedals first. And keeping the crank pointing forwards. Then you've got this unusual folding forks. The back end swings underneath and the front end <laughs> swings around and this little piece here locates into what the, little, the little house. The magnetic. There. And what that means is when it's in there, it's held by the magnet, but it's also vertically supported by the, by the little house. Yeah. Uh, that's what... And the seat locks fully it. fully folded, seat goes down. This will come up and spin around. To be honest, I don't quite understand this because it doesn't... Well, I don't understand that it makes it any smaller. But there you go, that's the, that's the, that's the complete package.